Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel that is AirTech. Hope you all guys are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So our today's video is going to be very important for all the people working in the IT fraternity. Okay, so people who are working in different companies such as TCS, Infosys, Wipro, Capgemini, Cognizant, Accenture and a lot of other companies. So this video is going to be helpful for all of you to understand the perspective on the five days office. Okay, so recently TCS started sending email to all of its employees that it is going to make mandatory five days office in one week. That is all five days you have to come to office without fail. So a lot of people are having doubts on this particular point. A lot of people have not yet received any email confirmation from the HR. Okay, so is this a threat or is this a norm that TCS has been doing? Okay, so we will discuss that in detail. The first thing that I want to highlight is that Please guys like this video and share it with your friends because a lot of people might not know about this update. Okay. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get regular updates whenever we post updates and uh, job related queries and all the questions and answers. Okay. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is very important. Okay. Now a lot of people ha might have this doubt in the back of their mind that is TCS doing this to make the people or the employees come to office at least three days per week because the current scenario is that lot of people more than 60% or 70% people are just coming for two to three days. That's it. Less than two days. Okay. So one day or two days they are coming to office. And that is the reason they want people to come to office regularly for three days or four days. So that is the reason they will make a norm for five days because in India, you will observe that if someone, if you ask a person to do 100%, they do it 70%, 60%, right? So if you ask them to do 200%, then only they will do 100%. Okay. So this can be an ideology. This can be a theory that they might be practicing. Or the second case scenario is that they are already planning to bring all the employees back to office because they have the infrastructure. Okay, if you look at TCS, Infosys, they have the infrastructure to facilitate all these employees into one office. Okay, there are uh, different locations, right? So that is the first point. Okay, now the second point I want to tell you guys is that India's own Silicon Valley okay, city that is Bangalore, which is infamous for its public transport system. Okay, so now it has been revealed that the IT companies in the city lost over $28 million in a single day as the employees remain stuck in the traffic jams. Okay, $28 million is a very big amount guys. It is a very big amount that the companies have to pay because there is no proper public transport system. Even if you go by car, even if you go by bike, you have to stuck, you have to be in the office for like God, what knows, four day, four hours, five hours. It takes to come to office and again go back like to and fro. Okay, so this is the current scenario. Now we recently made a video and we received a lot of comments in, on the video. Okay, here you can find that our team leader inform us come to office five days, uh, like five days per week, per day, per week. Sorry. Reason unknown. Okay, done and understood. Okay, resume is ready. Market is overloaded with work from home jobs. Can't handle their stupid policy which makes us travel six days, six hours a day. Okay. And productivity is gone. Skill development gone. Interest to work gone. Okay. So these are the reactions of the people. This is next level slavery. Okay. Changing policy as and when they like 95% of the employees don't like work from office. Okay. Still they are forcing like dictators. The, the employees never want their, uh, like the company does not want their employees to be happy. Okay. No. So here a person is stating that they got an official announcement from the HR itself that TCS will operate five days a week from October, starting from 1st of October. Okay. Again, there was an important update. Okay. Commute is one of the biggest problems, especially in the office. Uh, if the offices are not in the city and in the outskirts. Okay. If you look at, at the example of Pune specifically, so people living in the Pune city, they have to travel like almost 15 to 20 kilometers every day because the, the office for uh, TCS, okay. Some offices are there in Niyati Park as well in the Pune, in the city center, near city center. But most of the offices, offices are in Hinjwadi area, right, which is almost 15 to 20 kilometers away from the main city, that is the outskirts. So this person is stating that they have to travel four hours in total plus nine hours of shift. So it, it, together it combines together to 13 to 14 hours. So the salary is also very low. Forcing five days a week will definitely impact the mental and physical health adversely. Okay, and some project managers and HR may call you to uh, to project location as well. And again, unnecessary expenditure you will have to uh, like uh, face. Okay, and some people now this is one of the major reasons. Okay, guys, please listen to this carefully. Okay, this is majorly a real estate road development mafia forcing people to have footfalls on roads, offices, and malls. Okay, most of the IT work can be done from home, as clearly seen in the pandemic 
with 0% failure rate. So we want to highlight this comment which is given by empty Red Bull can. So if you're watching this video, hats off to you man. This is the truth that you have spoken. No IT company had to shut down because they were not working from office. People are intelligent enough to understand that the client never bothers with internal office policies as long as you are doing the work on time. Okay, as long as the work is done. Also, they consider travel time in the work hour itself as there is no other incentives given as well. So this is the thing that is happening. Okay, again, you have to, you can see over here, you can read out these comments as well. Yes, our team has issue with the team lead. So she's harassing us every single day, scolding on small, small things. Okay, so guys, if you're facing an issue, please let us know in the comment section so that together we can try to solve the problem. How we, uh, we have also made videos on how to get released from your project. If you're not into good project, if you're into support project, if you're not learning anything in that project. So guys, do let us know in the comment section if you want, uh, if you have any questions or if you want some solution on particular point. Okay. So one more solution that we have in our mind is it will be, although it will be a little bit costly, but on the other hand, it will save you a lot of time. So what you can do is you can find an accommodation, which is near to your office. This is the only solution that you can do. Okay. I know there, there are very uh, like re less resources available near your office areas. Okay. So because it is in outskirts and it is difficult to get food, uh, transportation, and there are no entertainment opportunities uh, in that particular locality. But trust me guys, for you to go to office, like if you're planning to go to office for five days, then in that case, what you can do is you can plan accordingly and you can take an accom accommodation, which is near to, near to your office. But ultimately what will happen, you'll have to definitely pay a little bit more extra amount. Okay. Than that you are paying at the current location because the places near the offices are uh, like uh, the rent is expensive, right? The rent is high. So you'll have to pay a little extra rent, 10%, 20% extra rent, but ultimately it will save you a lot of time, like four to five hours of your, of your day, you are, if you're saving then that, what can be uh, better than that? Okay. In that four to five hours, uh, like the traveling amount of time that you take, you can learn a lot of things. You can implement those things and you can do hands-on practices. You can learn a couple of things. Okay. And then you can switch as well. You can uh, grow in your company as well. So that is the reason I'm suggesting you to take accommodations near your office. So that will be beneficial for you as well. Okay. And if you do, if you want, you, you don't tell your manager that you are staying near. You tell them that I'm staying the far away, like two hours distance. And I, and you can utilize that time. Okay. Guys? I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. So if they are playing games, then you should also play games. Okay. So this is one of the solutions that you can implement. Definitely it will, you'll have to pay a little extra rent or uh, you'll have to pay an extra amount on the flat or the PG or whatever you're taking. Uh, so to say, but definitely it will save you a lot of time. So that is what you can do as of now so that you can upgrade yourself. You can grow yourself. Okay. You can learn technical skills. Okay. And you can acquire knowledge. So guys, this is it for our today's video. If you have any doubts, please let us know in the comment section. We will happily answer all your questions and please like this video, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because that is very important.